What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Emerald Randomized Nuzlocke like Challenge. In the last episode we went through this entire route and did everything that the Weather Institute had in store for us. In this episode I say we build a bridge and get over it. Alright, our problems are in the past. Let's go down here and grab ourselves an elixir. Okay, things we never use. I'll put that in that pocket. And let's go ahead north as casually strolling in a bicycle. Infante, where were you? I was looking for you. How much stronger have you gotten? Let me check for you. Ready with your Pokemon? Uh, of course you are. Go! Oh, uh, go, go, go. Uh, I don't know. Send them all, all out at once. Go. Oh, it doesn't work like that, does it? I wish it did. Lombre. Let's go. Glover? Two-shotter. Two-shot that Lombre. Easy peasy. Ooh, hit him with the fake out. Okay, I see you. I see you. Going with those competitive moves. Chipping for seven damage. Almost a one-shot. Jeez, man. The power of Glover is insane, huh? just finish you off with another strength doesn't even heal it up terrible trainer terrible trainer slug inbound let's get mana in there I think mana can handle a slugma pretty well I would say oh I, I'm gonna go for confusion just to BM you because I know I can beat you with surf with one attack and I can almost beat you with confusion with one attack so I mean what's the point of not going for that might as well do it, it wasn't even a crit or anything just normal attack you know because we're strong we strong, we out here, we grinding, boys. And a Marsh Stomp, so I mean, if we had a Grass-type Pokemon, it'd probably be for the best. I think, funny enough, the best person to handle that is Glover. Glover, the powerhouse of the team. Let's see if soon enough you're gonna get a Swampert. Oh wait, you don't get one, do you? Two hit KO on a rather bulkier Pokemon. And we get a Speed Drop, so he probably outspeeds us next turn. He doesn't, wow, we're just that much faster. We're even the same level. And we're two-shotting the rival Pokemon. Wow, these rival battles as a kid were so difficult for me, guys. Because my team was, like, all over the place in terms of, um... In terms of levels, because I would skip so many trainers and stuff. But now that we're not skipping trainers, and we're just actually doing it how the game was intended, it's being a little bit easier. But I had absolutely nothing to worry about. Keep it up. And here, I have a present for you. Yeah. So we're going to actually have to go into our PC for a fly Pokemon. I don't think anyone in our team can learn it, right? Oh, Charizard can, right? So Charizard. Let's meet again somewhere. I think we're going to see you very soon. Ha <laughs> ha, way to go, Infante. I just passed by a trainer riding a bike. You just beat that trainer, didn't you? It was pretty obvious that you did. The kid looked really upset with her face all red from anger. I sure seem to run into you often. Are you off to the Fortune Gym next? I expect that you to do well at the gym. Well, I'll be seeing you. He just came down to tell me that and just goes back the same way. Nice. I don't think we need to go back and heal, actually. We're just going to move forward with our lives. Well, I kind of want to do a double battle, but I'm okay with this as well. And back to weaker Pokemon. We'll take that. Um, Let's see. Let's see. I think Sanchu's so close. I just kind of want to level him up already to be a Charizard for today. And then maybe after that, I'll just leave him on the back burner for a bit. We haven't even used Flamethrower yet. We don't need to. We're going to one-shot whenever it lands, and we did. Just like that. Something unseeable's in the way. Wow, okay, I didn't even think there was something there. Alright, actually, I'm going to tick off even the EXP share for now. Like, I just want Sanchu to become a charger that badly today. Another battle here. It's ahead of tree. Use a forest. Okay, that's true. You're right. You're not wrong. Flamethrower. Look at that. Look at that. So powerful. Like, it's such a powerful attack, honestly. I'm glad we have it. That being said, we got two more Pomac Berries here. And this is actually a pretty ideal location for a berry farming spot because it is right next to a... Well, we might as well just plant the chest those and get those in double digits. Or we can do Petcha Berry by accident. Um, It's like right next to the city, so if you were to fly here, you would be instantly able to um, to tend to these. And I say we are going to get be able to use fly really soon outside the battle. With that, we arrive at a new city, and we haven't arrived in a new city in quite a while. It's been at least... Four to five episodes, holy shit, since we have last got into a new city. So let's see what this city has to offer us in terms of free items. Because that's all we care about when we come to places, is that we can get free items. Oh wow, you have a Pokenav, and it's just like mine. Do you know about Pokenav's match call system? Access it and you can chat with the registered trainers anytime. Yeah. Okay, so let's see if there's anybody upstairs. I don't think there's ever anybody upstairs for us to talk to, but... We've never been up here. This is your first time up here. I'll show you how the wireless communication system works. First, I need to show you this floor of our Pokemon Center. Right this way, please. 
On the top floor, there are two rooms. First, the room on the left, it's the union room. You may link up with trainers around you who have also entered the union room. With them, you may do things like chat, battle, and trade. For second, the room on the right is a direct corner. You may trade or battle Pokemon with your friends in this room. If the wireless adapter isn't connected, you may still link up using a GBA game link cable. Those were the days when you had that one person who... No, I don't want to talk to you. You'd have that one person who had the actual game link cable, and everybody else would mooch off of it. Those were the days. Listen, kid, are you working on a Pokedex? Hmm, go to Safari Zone. That's my suggestion. Cool, cool. Have you done anything at the record corner? It's pretty neat. Mixes and matches records. Yep, cool. So, nothing too interesting here. Let's see what this old man has to say. The city consists of homes built on trees. Perhaps because of that lifestyle, everyone is healthy and lively. Well, even myself. I feel as if I've grown 30 years younger. <coughs> there are many Pokemon that evolve when you trade them. That's what I heard. Well, cool. That's really great. Rare candy makes a Pokemon grow immediately by one level. Can we buy them? I wish. I always stock up on more items and I'm sure I'll need. You never know what might happen. Better be safe than sorry. Super Repel. That lasts a long time and it gets the job done. It's much better than any ordinary Repel. Let's see what we can buy here, actually. We're like pretty far further into the game. We can buy Ultra Balls now. Look how much money we have, guys. Jesus. We're going to buy 20 of these. No Fs given. We're going to actually buy a couple. I'll buy seven. We already found three. We'll buy seven. Everything else is whatever. I'm going to actually buy some Super Repels as well as Chief mentioned them. I think we're going to do great with these. We have so much ma cash to burn. I think we even have items to sell. Let's see. We can do that. We have three PP ups, which I could sell for good money, but I don't need to right now. Let's sell the experience here. 1500 That sounds like a super worth deal. Psych Boy, that is the dumbest thing ever. And for anyone to... I mean, I don't know. I guess you can do multiple playthroughs really quick in the beginning to get heck of XP shares and then trade them to yourself, right? Pokemon and people have adapted to nature for survival. There's no need to make nature conform to the ways we want to live. The treehouse of four trees are great. I think it's the number one town for living together with Pokemon. That zigzagoon. Poor zigzagoon. Living on top of trees is okay, but sometimes Boko won't come in through windows. It can be really startling. I would kill myself if that happened to me. Like you're just sleeping and a freaking Ninkata just flies into your bedroom while you're sleeping. That's terrifying to think about. I'm buying a pretty desk and I'm putting my cute dolls on it. If I don't, when I decorate my secret base, my dolls will get dirty or poked with splinters. You can buy items here for your uh, secret base. Merchandise you buy here is sent to your own PC. That's fantastic. I wish they knew. I wish they could also deliver me home like that. That'd be pretty sweet. So you can buy, yeah, uh, just waste money on making your secret base look snazzy. You can buy dolls from this girl or maybe posters or just desks. So you can buy desks and chairs. That's all you can buy here. That's cool. Maybe you get more items later on. I'm not sure on that. Can't confirm or deny that. The ground absorbs rainwater and trees grow by drinking that water. Our fort tree city exists because there's both water and soil. I want to go to the Pokemon gym, but something is blocking the way. After all the bother I went through training on Route 120. No one believes me, but I saw this gigantic Pokemon in the sky. It seemed to squirm as it flew towards Route 131. By the way, you uh, smelled singed. Were you at a volcano or something? By being together with Pokemon, people make more and more friends, and that's what brings this world closer together. I think it's wonderful. There! Go, bird Pokemon! That's generic. Heh <laughs> I asked my Mungo to run an errand for me, so I forget where you get that. I'll figure it out. I th I want to say Lily Cove or Slateport. That's my guess. What's that thing you have there? Oh, it's called the Pokedex? It's really awesome. It could also be Maz Deep, now that I think about it. Well, speaking about Pokedexes, I remembered something. I met this trainer, Steven, when I was researching for rare stones. Whew, boy, he had some amazing Pokemon with him. They weren't just rare, they were trained to terrifying extremes. He might even be stronger than the gym leader in this town. Whoa, sick. Alright, we got, what, a couple more houses to deal with here? People, Pokemon, their hidden powers are aroused by living in natural environments. Let this old woman see if your hidden power has awoken. I hold a coin in my hand. Now tell me, have I palmed it in the right hand or in the left? Right. Oh, yes, correct. We shall try again. In which hand have I palmed the coin? Left. So it's right, right. Okay. Right. Right. We shall try again. In which hand have I palmed it? Left. Yep. HM10. TM10, which is probably hidden power, I'm assuming. Whether the amount of time she has said that. Yep, of course it is. Hmm, my wife relies on hidden power to stay awake. She should tell. She should just take a nap like I do and sleep talk. Okay. So, oh no 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 no! I don't want it. So you can learn a sleep talk from this guy, but you know, yeah, we're not. We're gonna pass on that one. All right. So let's speak to this girl. 
I need it. I have to get me a Volbeat. I'll do anything for it, man. I'll even... Uh, uh, did you hear about that? My shout from the bottom of my heart? Having heard that, will you trade your Volbeat for my Plusle? Hell no. <laughs> trading Pokemon with others. It's as if you're trading your own memories with other people. That's sad. Why did you say that? Alright, so that's pretty much everything Fortree City has to offer. This girl said something's blocking the way. As you can see, she is correct. So we're just going to move on and go to Route 120 as she explicitly implied. What's up here? I think there's just an item up there. Alright, so let's Roselia Flamethrower. Damn, level 28. That's actually pretty beefy. NGL. Level Wal... Uh, not Wal... A Walmer. Walmer versus Walmer. Who's going to remain victorious? They kind of like rhymed, kind of. All right, I think there's just a hidden item up there. Uh, yeah, it's all that it looks like there's up there. Um, I don't care. We haven't, we haven't even encounter here. Oh my gosh, right? This is Route 120. Let me just make sure, absolute sure. Yes, it is. All right, we have an encounter here, guys. We have an encounter, but we also have a double battle. Hey, looky here! I remember you. I get this battle all on this here camera. Magneton and Loudred. So we'll just one shot this, and we'll slash that. Oof, that did pretty good damage. Magneton should be going down. Ah, oh, critical hit to boot. You're gonna go down regardless, though. I'm sure of it. How nice. That really helped you. Now you're done. We didn't get the crit. It feels bad. That's okay. We go to level 35. We're just one level away from being a master. Wow, you are something. You've gotten a lot stronger. A lot since we left. Since we last battled, we were right about you when we spotted you as a hot trainer. So anyway, what do you think? Are you willing to give us an interview? No. No more interviews. You got one interview out of me when I was a rookie, but now I'm big. Now we're not going to be on that anymore. So let's go ahead and battle you. My Pokemon is strong. How about yours? A Swablu, level 29. Uh, I'd say mine's a little bit stronger. I mean, I'm not. I'm no scientist. You can be counted on to get better. I'd like to register you in my Pokenav. Sure. I guess we don't have really an option, do we? So let's go ahead and get this encounter out of the way. Let's put while we're up in the lead. And let's see who we get. Now we have Ultra Balls, though. So, I mean, I'm just saying. Should be hopefully a little bit easier. A Hitmonchan. It looks like Hitmonchan came back. It's funny because uh, it's level 25. Kind of like how it... I want to go for a spark. I don't think spark knocks you out. It does not. Not even close. So we'll go for another spark. Sweet. At paralyze hacks. Great. Ultra ball. Come on. Come on. Get in the ball. Nope. Come on, dude. Get in the ball, dude. I know you want to. All right. This guy's not getting in the ball. We're just going to speed it up until he does get in the ball. Because there you go. Easy peasy. This is a great mod to have. We got him only and him on China this playthrough. A him on China is set to possess the spirit of Boxer who have aimed to become the world champion. Having an indomitable spirit means that it will never give up. Yes, we're gonna nickname you Kyle. Kyle the Hitmonchan. Alright. Moving forward, now we have our static encounter, and it's Steven. Okay. Hmm, Infante High, it's been a while. There's something to hear that you can't see, right? Now, if I were to use this device on the invisible obstacle, no, no, no. Rather than describing it, I should just show you. That would be more fun. Yep. I'm just going to kill it. I don't want to catch a Kecleon, personally. It is a static encounter, so you are free to catch it. So if you live the surf, then... Wow, you really live the surf really well, actually. Um, let's switch you out to DJ. Rock Smash. Oh, let's go for this. As little HP and paralyzed as possible. Easy pickings. It's a static encounter, so we're allowed to catch it. Just saying, shouldn't be any problems there, right? A Pokemon that has the ability to alter its body colors to match its surroundings. Kecleon reverts to its original colors if it is startled. Give a nickname to the Kecleon. Sure, Kecleon. Let's think of what we're gonna name him. I don't even know a good nickname for you. Let's go with, um, 
Well, Kyle would have been a little better for Kecklin, huh? <laughs> Let's go with um, Geico. They are no way sponsor me, but if you guys need 15% or less on car insurance, go ahead and hit them up, I guess. I see, your battle style is, in is intriguing. Your Pokemon have obviously grown since I first met you in Duford. I'd like to have you to get I'd like you to have this Devon Scope. Who knows? There may be other concealed Pokemon. Wow, what a coincidence. Actually, there is. Alright. Let's meet again somewhere. This flies off. Alright, so this is still the same route. I just want you guys to understand that. Still Route 120, so no encounters for me just yet. But I kinda wanna do some extra training here before we move on to the gym. Do you have any moves that can strike a flying Pokemon? I think anything really is fine. Although I will say, wow, we're kind of low in level there. I will say the water kind of dampens my mood just a bit for poor old uh, Sanchu here. We have a couple more. Okay, actually I'm gonna go back and heal. I just kind of didn't want to edit today, but I mean, whatever. I guess we're gonna do that. Alright, and on that note, I do want to make a, an announcement in the middle of this video, which is kind of awkward timing, if you ask, if I do say so myself. But, I have opened up a Discord server, so if you guys want to just chill and talk on Discord, and stuff like that, I'm always going to be on that as I have it on my computer. So it might be a good way to reach me out, or just talk to other people that maybe also watch these videos, but also just hang out. Uh, I'm just making this sound like a really crappy advertisement. Uh, link is in the description now, guys. Uh, I should have announced it in the beginning of the video, which I'm going to do in the next video. Just because more people who haven't left yet. But I know the real ones, all the real, the real fans you are watching at this point. So go ahead and click that link in the description and I'll definitely see what's up to you guys there. So with that being said, this is going to be an annoying double route battle route. But we have Walbert here. And how much more experience do you need? 2750. I think if I actually go ahead and give him the uh, experience share now since he's going to get most of the experience of this battle either in this battle or this other one he should be evolving we ninja conceal ourselves under our camouflage cloaks i bet you didn't know where i was uh, and i didn't think we're gonna do a dull battle if you don't pay attention you could get hurt true you're right you're not wrong wrong things were not said let's go for that surf to just really do damage look at that and that's that it gets like split up and and stuff right Scratch to end you, spark to end you, and we'll do flamethrower spark to end you. Yep, called it. Alright, let's go one more battle, boys. Let's do this, I believe. You're party Pokemon. You have different types? A little. Me, Pokemon, and my Paracel. If any of them is missing, the pictures of beauty will be ruined! Oh, stop it. Alright, no problem there. You guys heard my phone? I don't even know my phone. Oh, it's in my pocket. T waved. Cool. Ooh, that did damage. Jesus. All right, we're switching you out. Wow, that did damage. I was not expecting it to do that much, to be honest. Oh, thank goodness I switched, brothers. Thank goodness I switched. <laughs> I'm so scared. Everything's getting freaking one-shotted. <laughs> if Walwer only had lightning rod right now, things would be so different. Why? <laughs> wow, man. That was a tough one. Sancho goes to level 36. Wow. <laughs> that was so scary. That was a good combination of two mons. That was only two Pokemon and we were getting pretty... Why? <laughs> oh, man. Stupid phone. Wow. You earned this level up, Sancho. And sweet. Welcome to the cast, Sanchu, the Charizard. Sanchu trying to learn wing attack. Hell yeah. Get that scratch out of here. Well, with that being said, we have a Charizard in Pokemon Emerald now, which is pretty cool, I'd say. Alright, but we also don't need you to have any more levels at the same time, so 
start training up other people. And we'll give you the charcoal again. That's your like signature move now. Your signature item. Hiya, Infante Dylan. Catching any Pokemon lately? A little while ago, I came close to having one, but it got loose. Right, take care. Alright. A revive. Cool. Selling items are cool, I guess. Ooh, I need cut, don't I? Pokemon have many special abilities. If you want to become a first class trainer, learn about them. Alright. I'll take your word for that. Spark. Oh, you went for the attack? You have no weaknesses in this game. But little do you know, buddy, that's soon gonna leave from you. You're not gonna you're gonna have weaknesses now. Kind of unfortunate because you know you think of a Pokemon with no weaknesses. That's kind of cool gimmicky. Gimmick wise, but they ended up taking that out rather quickly. I think there's a yep, there's one right here, but you don't fight this one. Oh you do fight this one. Cool. That's no problem. Alright, cool. And let's fight you. A C dot, no problem. Oh, it was actually more of a problem than I thought it was, but nope. You're still while we're at the end of the day, so you don't really care. I mean, we're just really preparing is all that's going on right now. We're just doing, making sure that our preparations for the next gym aren't in vain. As you see, even these trainer battles are pretty closely leveled to us, so I'm pretty sure the next gym leader is as well. We haven't had any... Jesus, come on, you barely lived that. You barely had any... Uh, what's the word? Grind montages recently, right? So like maybe having one soon might be necessary. I'm not sure on that yet. I'd really have to like see what happens after this after this episode. See if we, um, I, if I still feel like too under level to fight the gym leader, then I might have to do another grinding montage just because that's how I am. I don't like being, I don't mind being under leveled. I just don't like being severely under leveled if that makes sense. So if we can avoid that, I'll definitely be sure to avoid it. And you got the full restore off. Shit. No problem. Should be a three shotter. That lombre is fast, man. Outspeeding. Walrer and whatnot. Nuzzle leaves are always handled by Zutsu because of that quad. They had like the same team except you had low tad instead of uh, C dot. I just realized. Ah, one shot it. Wow. With a Fury Cutter of all moves. Alright, so this is still the same route. I'm trying so hard not to step on the grass. A nugget. Gotta make sure really hard not to step over because if you guys don't know what happens when you step over here, you're in for a bad time as you can see. If I step over that one on the right. So, with that being said, I think we've handled just about everything that there is to handle outside of Fortress City, but not moving too much forward, which I prefer not to do. I don't want to go too far ahead of myself, you know? I know I can just go on the bicycle and not run into the grass, but I'm trying to be pro at this, but I, in fact, was not. Probably missed a thousand hidden items over there. But I say we should go back, get ourselves a Pokemon that can learn Cut, and see what uh, these... Two cut locations can give us. I'm so scared. I'm not going to be able to run away, am I? <sighs> Let me look up his moveset, guys. Alright, that's good news. I was just checking to see if he had... Oh, wait. Does he have actually Earthquake? No, he doesn't have anything that can really do damage to us right now. So, like, I was checking to see if he had Earthquake or Solar Beam. But, turns out he doesn't have any of those, so we're fine. Okay. I'm not risking it, guys. I'm so sorry for, like, being really paranoid about that. But, as you can see, an episode where we just, quote-unquote, didn't care. An episode where we were in a rush. Look what happened to us, guys. Bad things. So, we're not having that happen again, if I can avoid it. I'm trying to be a little bit more frugal. And not die to these Pokemon. I don't think frugal is a word because frugal means you don't spend a lot of money. But you know what I meant. I'm just trying to sound fancy here. Let's grab a Splinter. Splinter is not going to be useless in this game. Let's grab, put Mena in the box for now. It'd be really good if we had an Ice type for this upcoming gym. It's a flying type gym. So, I mean, Walrus is pretty much our best bet, right? For this upcoming gym battle. As he's always really been. Walrus has been a pretty consistently awesome team member. One of the favorites for sure, I'd say. Besides Mana, I think Mana has to be the favorite right, of this playthrough so far. Just because he's done so much. The original Cutter. And here you can find a rare candy. That's a nice one. Fourth. Fourth rare candy, I believe, of this playthrough. 
Let's check that other cut location, which I believe is just a berry spot, but I love me, my berry spots. You guys know that more than anyone. I like this music a lot. It's really awesome route music. So let's see what cut you can give us here. Ooh, ass bear berries. These are for... Mm, I want to say for... No, they're not frozen, because frozen is uh, another thing. Is it ass... No, ass is... No, yeah, because... Oh, it was. I was correct. It is frozen. I could have sworn it was uh, a different berry for frozen. Oh, well. Either that, we're going to just plant them right back where we got them. Go give back to nature. And with that all being said, I think we are done for today's episode. We were just doing our preparations for Fortree. And, yeah, I mean, not much else can be said about that. I think in the next episode, granted, we are going to easily go ahead and challenge the six gym for Tree City, get marking us 75% done with the gyms that we will need to be taken care of if we win. Can we go out of it unscathed? Who knows? Find out next time on Pokemon Emerald. If you guys enjoyed, feel free to hit it with the like button and tell one of your friends. Catch you guys then. Peace.